My plate? Frog's legs were delicious. Now we're on to shrimp. Because the, the oils that are in the rind are so special. Mm -hmm. Now somewhere here I've got my, there it is, olive oil. Hey, you're getting two hot spots with them. White vinegar. Absolutely incomparable. And these are some and of those frog slips. Between legs. fresh dill and dry dill, it's food. almost like it's not the same. No, tasty spoons. No, it's it's not the same at all. It, dried oregano is a key ingredient in my clam chowder, my tomato sauce. I also use fresh, but there is a key place in the kitchen for those items. It just they're very limited. Whereas yes. the fresh stuff you can use everywhere, and they have a much more vibrant potency. Mm -hmm. You could use you know, $10 worth of dry dill, a clump this big, and never approach the flavor that a few tablespoons of fresh did. And nowadays, it used to be you couldn't get the fresh. Now the fresh is available everywhere. Right. And I'll give you a tip. Don't go near that. Man. I know. I was like, share the love. <laughs> um, no, don't go near Don't. Can I just hold um, the spoon? You yes. can hold the spoon. <laughs> now, the vinaigrette really begins to sing. Lemon mm. and acid in here. Mm. Now, that dill vinaigrette oh gosh. Fantastic. starts to go in oh. to the shrimp, right? And I want that to actually sit this time, they may get this course before you do. Yes, I know. Um, I like to let this sit at room temperature for 15 minutes before I serve it. If you are going to serve this in your home, Crystal, can I get your assistance? Let's clear the decks and we'll bring out the uh, dessert mise en place and put that over there. Um, here's the deal. If you're serving this in your home, big portion, and you want to do some of this ahead of time, get everything together, cook your shrimp, better to marinate, but do it in the morning, like right before your guests come. If you want to do it the day beforehand, cook your shrimp and do everything, and then just marinate three, four hours with the vinaigrette before. That's great because you will spend $1,000 on equipment and dedicate a 10 square foot portion of your household to growing fresh herbs. If it's that important to you, go for it. But you do need, you need grow light and warmth and there's all kinds of stuff. And then what happens is, is that, and this happened to a friend of mine growing tomatoes. He wanted, this is 20 years ago, he saw the future and the future was the, uh, um, uh, those tomatoes that grow upside down. Topsy you can even see yeah. them. Topsy Topsy Topsy. The next you can course even see them is over in the, the shrimp. Uh, building. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So he decides he's, he's got to figure out the business plan and all the rest of this kind of stuff, right? So he's growing, I don't know, five different types of tomatoes in five different sort of setups. All yes. are so beautiful. I know. Mm -hmm. And because you always slit the shells, it's very easy. Oh, well, now this is a very off, good, right? some Those people may not be yeah. now for yeah. now I'm This is your shrimp. I don't know if you have ever seen the movie My Dinner with Andre, yes. but Andre Gregory <laughs> does this with me tonight, and I, I love watching 80-year-old um, Italian men in little seaside restaurants in the south in the summertime with a knife and a fork do take a shell off the shrimp and not getting any spray on their top. It is a thing of beauty. Yes. <laughs> but it is very, very true 20 years ago. And well, now the shrimp. There was a delicious, large. And there was stuff in your house. Nowadays, even electric cop stoves, they make them that go up to 35,000 years. Most of the, the very fresh and firm units are 17,000 to 18,000. Goes 7, well with the corn. Where they start at 12 or 11. Uh, Waiting for our next course with Andrew.